let's talk about this Chinese balloon real quick. The bottom line up front, U.S. officials are currently tracking a surveillance balloon that's flying through U.S. airspace. The balloon is reported to be flying in the stratosphere where it would not pose or should not pose a safety risk to commercial aircraft because of its high altitude. Balloons usually operate between 24,000 and 37,000 meters or 79,000 and 121,000 feet. That exceeds an airliner's usual altitude, which is, which is below 12,000 meters or 39,000 feet. The mainstream media and the U.S. government are claiming together that this is a balloon of Chinese origin. So is it Chinese in origin or not? Yes, it's from China. First, the balloon is not squawking appropriate mode C codes. When a transponder receives a radar signal, it sends back a transponder squawk code. That's an aircraft identification code. This is uh, referred to as a mode 3A or more commonly a mode A. A transponder code can be paired with uh, pressure altitude information, which is called mode C. Mode 3A and C, I know this is getting into the weeds, but those are used to help air traffic control identify the aircraft and to um, maintain separation. In short, mode 3AC transponders supply air traffic control, or ATC, with position, altitude, and identity. And this balloon is not squawking on appropriate mode C codes. Second, we did a quick run of the NOAA high split model. High split is um, short for a hybrid single particle Lagrangian integrated trajectory model. A lot of, I mean, that'll make your mouth feel like you're talking with the marbles in it. But it's a, um, basically, for people with 20-pound brains, it's a computer model that's used to compute air parcel trajectories, determine how far and what direction a parcel of air and subsequently air pollutants will travel to trace backwards the path of an object. And using 14,000 meters over Montana yesterday, we got the following, central China. You can see that in the graphic we're putting up there now. So where's it going? Well, if it stays on track, on its current track, moving southeast, it's expected to be somewhere over southeast Missouri tomorrow. However, this Chinese surveillance balloon forecasted track map and models are subject to a bunch of different variables. First, the wind and the jet stream or the weather system. Uh, that can knock a balloon off its flight path. But more importantly, the second thing is that it is controlled by a bunch of small propellers. So that makes it nearly impossible to predict the path. However, if all things stay as they have been, this is the flight path that you can expect in the graphic we're putting up now. So what are the options? Well, there's little doubt that North Command has been running uh, course of action development and analysis for days and has presented several concept of operations to the president. These would range from shooting it down, which you really wouldn't have to do. You just fly a uh, fighter jet close by and it'll collapse the balloon into itself. So the first one is down it. Then the other option is you could overpower its navigational and comm systems with an energy blast, allowing um, the U.S. to take control of the aircraft. It's similar how you would take over a, uh, a UAV in flight and ground it. Uh, you could also interrogate the payload, payload using uh, electronic intelligence and SIGINT aircraft as they fly nearby. Uh, that could have been what the uh, KC-135s were doing as they were uh, flying around this thing recently. Or you could simply monitor it and watch it and see where it goes, which seems to be what our government's chosen to do. So what does this mean to the United States and maybe to Taiwan? The balloon revelation comes days before Secretary of State Blinken is going to visit China, the highest ranking Biden administration official to do so. And we're not the only country to have a balloon like this come across our airspace. Remember, it hit Canada, but it's also been in Japan. And this is not the first one of these either. As far as Taiwan goes, this does not bode well for Taiwan. If President of the United States won't bring down the balloon over American soil, who in Asia believes the same man would commit forces to defend Taiwan from an invasion? 
This could have a similar impact as the Afghan retreat of 2021 did, which emboldened the Russians to move against Ukraine. The people in Taiwan might well determine that he won't take action to defend them. It's akin to the Obama failure to defend the Scarborough Shoal in 2012. The Scarborough Shoal standoff was a dispute between the Philippines and China over the Scarborough Shoal. Tensions began in April 2012 after the attempted apprehension by the Philippine Navy of eight mainland Chinese fishing vessels near the shoal. Obama did nothing. The bottom line here is the trend line is not good.